We are here in the wild area. Who's ready to get some counters? <laughs> that right here, you know. He is walking on air. Yeah, he's like Axwell. <gasps> no, no, get away from me, get away from me. I'm picking my encounter. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Inferno and again, welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Hardcore Randomizing Nuzlocke. If you guys missed it in the last episode, we started the series, of course, and we got our starter and the first couple encounters of the game. You can see them on the layout already, but if you want to see how we caught those, especially the Cosmog down there, definitely go check out the last episode. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to try our best to make our way towards... Uh, I. I forget the names of the towns, but it's where we're going to get our uniform number and all that good jazz. So if you guys are excited, I hope we can get a lot more awesome counters this episode and make our way closer to the first gym. So if you guys are excited, make sure to slap the like button and uh, subscribe if you're bringing to the channel. Uh, we're on the road to 1.5k by the end of the year, and we are very, very close in just November. So definitely hit that big red button if you haven't yet. Uh, check out my links down in the description, including Twitter, Facebook, Discord, TikTok, all the good stuff down there. Definitely make sure to check it out, and uh, without further ado, I'm going to go with the team recap. It's been a while since I've done, you know, important team recaps in the series, so... Uh, first of all, we're going to go with Fomantis, which has the Perish Body ability, which I always... I, I found that very interesting in the last episode. Uh, of course, the... The movesets aren't randomized, so I don't really need to talk about that, but it's got the Lonely Nature. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Shout out to Lonely Hermit. Uh, next up is Charlene, our starter Charizard, which uh, is got Stench as its ability. I was forgetting what I was going to say next. Stench is the ability on our Charizard here, and uh, it's holding a relaxed mint. I'm going to figure out... What do you mean figure out? I was like, I'm going to figure out what to do with this, but I don't think I really need to have um, <laughs> a mint... Uh, be that crucial right now, especially since I don't think I need anything with relaxed nature. We'll put we'll we'll consider that later. I'll put the pungent root in the bag. Uh, speaking of the pungent root, it was held by our cosmog named Celeste, which has the dark aura ability and uh, it's got brave nature, which is not that important because uh, it doesn't raise or lower any abilities. But anywho, let's move forward with it. Oh wow, what's up, Trubbish? You know I like the Fomantis. But Garboder would not have been that bad. I know. I know what you guys are thinking. The trash Pokemon. I would not have minded a Garboder, especially if we could have Gigant Gigantamaxed it. Uh, looks like we got more Sinistee and uh, Chinchino here. But we're going to go ahead and battle this young lady right here. No reason not to. Sorry, not young lady. Uh, grown man, Black Belt Boren. Sending a Grookey. What's up, Grookey? What's up, buddy? Well, we got Flick here, who does have Fury Cutter, so let's see how much damage it does. Tackle won't do that much. Yeah, about six damage. Ah, you fool. You're going to perish in three turns. This is her only Pokemon for sure. Mwahahaha, it's, it's her only Pokemon. Tee hee hee. Yeah, tackle us all you want, pal. You're going to die. Ooh, we got a crit. Nice job. Nice job. Well, I believe this was the last trainer on this route, Charlene growing up to level 9. We have to be very, very careful because there is a wide gap between the beginning of the game to the first gym. I don't even know when we're going to get to the first gym, but uh, we have to try our best not to level up past uh, 20, I believe, is what uh, Milo's uh, strongest Pokemon is. And it looks like that wasn't our last trainer to fight. Um, so I'm, I might have to keep an eye on Charlene's level because, um, we're going to need to keep it lower, uh, to make sure that she doesn't get too high. Cause of course it's randomized, so it doesn't matter that he's the grass type gym, but, uh, Charlene is our strongest Pokemon in the party right now being a fully evolved fire flying starter. So, uh, we definitely want to keep her at a safe level. Now, something I want to point out, there's two things extra things that I should have pointed out in the first episode, but I'm going to point them out now. First of all, held items are allowed, which includes berries. So if we get berries, like orange berries or citrus berries, we can have them, have our Pokemon hold them, we just cannot use potions, uh, if that makes sense. And the second thing is that we can go into the battle with the gym leader or whatever. Oh, it's got struggle bug. I don't like that. I do not like that. Um, 
we'll stay in for now. Um, anywho, we can go into with our highest level Pokemon matching their highest level Pokemon. Um, that's all we need to do. If we level up higher than that, it's completely fine. Because we're leveling up inside of the battle. Anywho, we gotta switch out to Charlene because I do not want Flick to die. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that this Azuril had Struggle Bug, to be honest with you guys. But this is gonna do absolutely nothing to Charlene. Yeah, one damage. A baby Pokemon hitting something that four times resists Bug. Yeah, you're out of here, Azuril. So basically, if we do level up uh, Charlene to level 20 before we get to the gym, I'm just going to put her in the box and she'll just be level 20 waiting for us to bring her back for the gym. Uh, I just would prefer not to do that, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And just, She's sending out a Noibat. We're definitely not going to send out Fluck against a Noibat, so... Oh, it's got Drought! Great, we can use Ember on this thing and it'll be uh, stronger. Plus, we got our ability. This one could end up flinching. Unless it uses Quick Attack, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's hit it with an Ember. Oh, yeah. Well, that wasn't, like, too terribly strong, because, you know, Noibat is a uh, dragon, so it resists fire. But, hey, we're doing more damage than we would have if its ability was not Drought. So, thanks for lowering our defense, but we're good. We're good. Can we get it to flinch this time? No, but we can get a crit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good job, Charlene. All right, level seven for Flick, and last Benjamin goes down. Yeah, you look angry. Good. I believe we battle Hop again over here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure they heal our Pokemon, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give a, a potion to Flick just in case. Um, I'm gonna get this item over here. Yeah, repel. Those are pointless in this game. Hello. Look, there's a, the professor. Yep, it is Professor Magnolia. Professor Magnolia, she did not get enough spotlight. I wonder why they made the professor like so old in this game that she's just like, yeah, her daughter, I mean her granddaughter, who's like basically the actual professor of this game. Also, have you guys seen Magnolia trees? I like Magnolia trees, they're pretty nice. It's kind of awkward <laughs> when I'm not reading dialogue and we're just tapping through things here. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, it's going to be very easy for us to make it to the wild area today. And since we do have the DLC, there is the option for us to get to Isle of Armor. The thing is, like I said in the last episode, the only reason I want to get to the Isle of Armor is to get our starter, uh, whatever it would be over there, the Bulbasaur or the Squirtle, um, whatever got randomized to. Um, and to do that, we would have to uh, fight Avery. And I don't really know if I want to fight Avery. Um, so, <laughs> it really depends. I thought, yeah, there's an item, but it's a TM. Hello, TM. It's payback, okay, that's alright. Not too, I mean, TM compatibility was not randomized, but it would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, what if Cosmo could learn it? Then we'd actually have a useful Cosmo, but it's fine. Let's just advance, or at least try to. Like I said, I believe Hot Battles us here. Yep. And then we get our, uh, the Dynite Ore thing that comes down to the planet, or whatever it is. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there ever was. Okay, Ash Ketchum. Let's see about that. Hop goes the weasel. Alright, let's see what Hop has this time, because, uh, pretty sure he's still gonna have two Pokemon for now. But let's see. Let's see what he's got. Here he is, Pokemon Trainer Hop. Sending out a Krabby. He's got a third Pokemon this time. All right, interesting. All right, we got Flick in the front, that's good. I don't, I don't remember changing it, so I'm glad it's still that way. So he's got his own Derek. Well, we've got our own Flick, so it rhymes, and we're about to take it out. Ah, uh, you fool using a physical attack. It was a crit, but you just enacted Perish Body, my friend. Yeah, crits are gonna hurt because, again, the main focus of this challenge is that we can't use potions, so if we get critted and our Pokemon are at low health, we can't do anything about that. <laughs> so it's got Moody. It lowered its special attack. I did not see what it raised. 
I'm gonna hit with a leafage again. Okay, it's using growl. Good job, Durek. Can we get a crit leafage? That would be nice. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Okay, if it raises, it's raising the defense and lowering special attack. Okay, so it's special attack is minus two right now. Okay, it's using tackle. I was going to say, even if it got a crit, we'd still be able to take it. Okay, that defense raised a lot. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to switch out because if we switch out, that counts as Krabby's last turn and it's just going to die, so. Let's just switch out to Charlene. Who's going to take whatever this Krabby sends our way like a champ. Using tackle, that's fine. Use that tackle and, uh, Go ahead and die, my friend. Get out of here, Krabby. I hope we get, like, more challenges soon, because, you know, we keep on getting critted, but that's, like, the biggest challenge we have. I'd like to, like, come across a legendary on somebody's team. But I don't want to jinx us, either. <laughs> What's up, Bonsly? How about this Ember, my friend? Okay, you took that pretty well. But I can't really use Scratch, either. Because that's not going to do much, even with a crit, so... I guess we're just going to keep on hitting it with an ember. Pretty sure you can burn rock types, so if we could get a burn, that would be nice. I'd also take a crit, for sure. Okay, it could probably only take two more embers. It's really grinding down our HP, though, but I'm pretty sure this is his highest level mon. Oh, that was a crit, wasn't it? Yeah. That's no bueno. Alright, get out of here, Bonsly. I hope his last Pokemon's easy to defeat. Alright, Charlene level 10. It's a Morlul. Oh yeah, we can one-shot that. Absolutely easy. A Morlul is easy to take care of. Hello, Morlul. It's level 5 too, yeah. This thing's going down to an ember. Hop. You almost got us, my friend. You almost got us, but your mobile is weak. Pretty good put game plan, though. War is down with your first two Pokemon, and then... Try to hide your weakest Pokemon. <laughs> but there it goes. It is gone. And uh, Leon's about to congratulate us. Just kidding. He's just going to commend us for doing a good job battling letter of endorsement he's endorsing us into the gym challenge let's go i wonder what kind of immature completely uh wrong number we can use as our uniform number oh my gosh the sky is falling somebody call chicken little wow now that is what I call epic. Got ourselves some uh, wishing stars. Nice. We're going to be able to Dynamax soon, my friends. Very, very soon. I will be the greatest trainer ever. Yeah, uh, Ash Ketchum's already on his way to uh, complete that. So you're going to... Actually, you know what? I hope Hawk does come in the anime at some point so they can kick his butt. I really do. Because, you know, Hal was uh, in the Sun and Moon anime at the last second when I thought that he was just going to be one of the main trainers that Ash traveled with. So, um, they could totally do it with Hop. Uh, and there's Sonya. At her grand's house. Yeah, it's about time for us to go to the wild area. I'm excited for the wild area. Not because there's going to be a lot of Pokemon for us to catch, but also because we're going to see those floating Pokemon that are just walking on sunshine. Dynamax Band, heck yeah. Now that's what I call epic. Now we can finally Dynamax. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. Maybe I'll do a Dynamax adventure. <laughs> Just be like an episode of doing Dynamax Adventures. Getting a shiny legendary? I don't know how Dynamax Adventures would work with the randomizer. They'd probably be the same. If I can even do them. 
Wow, that Choodle is definitely not going to be there normally. Congratulations to Hop on getting a 0.001% encounter rate. Ah, who knows? Maybe it's one of the hidden encounters that got randomized. Alright. Well, we are on our merry way back to the Pokemon Center. Hi, Dratini. Yeah, I found out we could have had Dratini on this route. Oh, hi, Poliwag. Yeah, a Dratini definitely would not have complained about getting a Dragonflying type somewhere down along the road, but... Oh, Rockruff, shout out to BBMX World. Dang, I feel like we're going to run into a shiny at some point in this series. Do you guys feel it? I feel like we're definitely going to run into the sh uh, shiny. I mean, after all, I am the shiny king of the small Poketuber community. I mean, that's that's what I'm known as. Or at least I'm the, sp I'm the shiny king of the Elite Battle League. You guys should be keeping up with the Elite Battle League. I mean, I'm out of it. I got knocked out thanks to always more videos. Shout out to Derek. But um, he will be taking on Lonely Hermit, one of our other very good friends this week in the semifinals. And uh, Tara from Stone Family 64 will be taking on Guanaco Gaming, aka the guy who I'm rooting for for the rest of the season. Sorry, sorry, Josh and Derek, you guys, you guys do well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna root for Guanaco. He was my training partner. We were supposed to fight each other in the championship, but Derek decided to cut those plans short. Um, but the matches go up tomorrow because this is coming out on Friday. If you guys are watching this today, it comes out. Oh no. Oh no. The item shops did get randomized. <laughs> Luigi and I were testing so many things and the item shops did get randomized. They just got randomized to- the regular shops got randomized. Well then. I'm just gonna leave that alone for now and hope we get a Master Ball at some point. I didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, Lord. I got to tell Luigi that after I'm done recording. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, we are here at the train station. So, thank you for Swift Hop. I really needed that. Really, really needed that. So, I believe that we can just enact the, the Isle of Armor stuff, like, right away. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, our moms are going to talk to us here. There they are. Speak of the devil. And I just got to mention, shout out to Josh again. He just got done with his sword series, which finished off his generation sweep. And the man, he is in love with every female character in this game but Opal. But let me tell you, Opal, Mamma Mia. If, I, if I've ever seen an attractive woman, she's one of them. Just gotta say, 100%. But, I mean, I'm only bringing this up because the moms came up, and I just thought, you know, when one of the female characters in this game could be safe, the mom, Josh had to ex exclaim his undying love for her towards the end of the series. But hey, I don't judge, I don't judge. Like whoever you want to like, as long as it's not kids. That's all I gotta say about that. Maybe that was a little too serious for a Pokemon video, but that's what we do on the Infernoman channel. We get serious, we get down to business. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, I think if we talk to this gentleman here, uh, it should enact the stuff. No, I think we have to be uh, in the, the station that we just came from. So, let me just talk to her ready to get some encounters yes i'm recording this at night so don't worry about that <laughs> let's just worry about getting our encounters finally hopefully we get something catchable i do want to explore a little bit too look at that what are you talking about <laughs> i'm so funny and original and stuck in 2015 <laughs> Actually, that meme's from like 2014. All I remember is that I was in 6th grade, and that was me at 11, so that was 7 years ago, which was 20, 2014, yeah. Dang. I'm old. 18 entire years old. Such an old man. Nobody's older than me, that's for darn sure. Alright, Sonia, can we stop talking so I can get some Pokemans? Thank you, now we can access the PC. Let's go. 
Alrighty. Got your pie hole. And here is the wild area. Wow. Absolutely glorious. There's not a single Pokemon in it. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Alrighty. Well, here we go, guys. The Onyx is going to be... Gothita! Okay. I'm pretty sure that it's, like, strongly over-leveled, so we're not going to run into it right now. I'm going to go over here and close my eyes, but is there going to be a flying Pokemon? Oh, that's Vikavolt. That normally floats like that. I thought I heard a familiar cry over there. Okay, there's Snover. I think that was the cry I heard. Okay, so there's a lot of Snover over here. A lot of the other stuff is, like, hidden in the grass. What are you? Can I get you to come out of the grass? Oh no, I see a Shellgon. We could go for the Shellgon if we want to choose our encounter. What are we going to look for? Um, what is that? Is that... That's a Torchic! Yo! We could get a Torchic, but that would be another Fire-type starter. The only other Fire-type starter I'm making an exception for is Litten, okay? We got that out of the way. Alright. I might cut out the entire part with uh, me trying to catch the Slowpoke and just go for a little bit longer here. I don't know how long that was, but... Um, you know, whether or not I keep it in is just what you guys see, obviously. But um, if you're not seeing it, uh, the Slowpoke, the Glaring Slowpoke in front of the Isle of Armor was uh, Jengmo O. And we're going to try it later. That's a Steelix. That is a Steelix and a half. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, that's a floating Steenie. What's up, Steenie? <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to close our eyes and try to run into something then, because I'm just not going to do the <laughs> looking around anymore. So let me close my eyes. And it's Torchic. Okay, that's fine. That's the cry that I heard before. I thought I recognized it as, as something fire type. All right, so this is a female Torchic. We're going to go ahead and scratch it. It's using Quick Attack. Uh, obviously, we're not going to keep it on the team because we've already got Charlene. So we're just going to scratch it one more time. And starters are hard to catch. Uh, it's using Flame Charge, so that's self-damage. So it's helping us out here. No, I'm thinking of the wrong Fire-type move. I was thinking of Flare Blitz. I don't know why I thought Flame Charge was the same thing. Game Boy Luke? There we go, we got ourselves a Torchic. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're getting a lot of female Pokemon, not gonna lie. Not going to lie. Yeah, I think that whole debacle with uh, Jingmo took about like six minutes, so we'll probably get like one or two more encounters. Um, I'll see. All right, so a female Torchic. Um, trying to think of something. Um. Most of my Blaziken are male. You know what? Let's just let's just name this uh, KFC. Perfect KFC. <laughs> if I can't think of a female name, it's KFC. All right. Well, there we go. We got our. Uh, I forgot what this area is called, but we got the encounter for it. So there it is. All right. So there should be another area somewhere over here because we are going to get an encounter for each area. That's how I did in my last shield nuzlocke. That's a Golurk. We just got a shiny Golurk on stream uh, over the weekend. You guys should be checking out my shiny hunting streams and all my other streams if you haven't been. That is a Kung Kelder. What is this raid going to be? Yeah, I know. What is it? Uh, it looks like a Rialu. I would not mind a Riallu, but we're not going to cheat and do raids. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, floating swine up. You want to be friends? <laughs> Alright. This looks like a new area over here. Yeah, East Lake Axwell. Uh. <gasps> no, no, get away from me. Get away from me. I'm picking my encounter. I am picking my encounter. I do not care. This is going to be the wild area encounter that we can pick. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I, I guess we're just gonna cancel the rules about about that. I don't want to choose my encounters, but like, if it's something like Alone Raichu or one of my favorite Pokemon, I'm gonna go for it. But other than that, like, I'm not really gonna. I'm gonna close my eyes and try to run in whatever I can, like like I did with the Torchic there. But I don't know. I'm just doing this the best I can. I mean, <laughs> I love Alone Raichu so much. I just don't know what it can learn at this point, and I don't really want to switch out to anything. Hmm. I don't think it's going to have anything to kill Flick, so I'm just going to go over to Flick, use Fury Cutter once or twice, and then try to catch it. Okay, it's using Thundershock. That did a lot more than I would have expected. Um, let's hit it with a Fury Cutter. Okay, it's using Growl. I just saw the Alolan Raichu, I was just like, no way. No way. Alright. It can take another um another one. It's using quick attack this Okay, there's the first death of the series. It's tradition apparently on the Infernalman channel that we lose an encounter in the wild area. <laughs> okay then. Well, I don't know if I should risk catching this, because if it uses Thundershock, that's super effective. I'm going to hit it with one Ember. Okay, it's using Growl. Okay, then it's going to have two turns before it dies. Okay, let's just try to catch it. Hopefully it stays in the ball so it doesn't die and we don't lose anyone else. Hey, boy, Luke. Let's go. Okay, so we lost Fomantis, which is sad because that's that was our uh, grass type placeholder for a bit. But we we're learning Dragon Breath. I will definitely take Dragon Breath. We'll get rid of Smoke Screen. That sucks for Flick though. I was actually kind of excited about using Alarantis, but the ability is what had me scared because like if we're trying to get encounters and I'm using it and like you know it's that kind of stuff. But Raichu, what are we gonna name you? Um, let's name you, you know, let's just name you after the Raichu in the EBL. This is what my Alolan Raichu that I drafted was called. I was kind of embarrassed about it at first because I couldn't change the name, but I'm embracing it now. It's Peekapoo. Alright. Sorry, Flick. You're going to be our first Pokemon to move into the death box. Uh, so we'll change your name to Death. Because you are now known as the Death Box. And we will change your wallpaper to something that resembles Sky. Because there is not a Sky wallpaper. And we'll go with this. Sorry, Flick. I should probably put KFC in the box as well. Because I literally said we were going to use it right now. But there we go. We got a couple level 13s. I'm, gl I'm glad that we still have something that we can use. Oh, two Pokemon that chase after you. Please stay away. That right period though. That right period though. He is walking on air. Yeah, there's a little in right everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go for one more encounter before we end up the episode here, if that's alright with you guys. <laughs> Hopefully it's alright with you guys, okay? Um, but this one I'm definitely gonna close my eyes for. I'll probably just do that, like I'm not gonna do it anymore. We got right you, we did that with uh uh I don't remember what else I didn't close my eyes for, I don't know. But we're just not going to do that anymore. Okay, I know that this is a different area coming up here. Oh, hi, Slowpoke. <laughs> He's just floating in the air right now. Alright, so we can have a Solosis. Uh, there's a Noibat there. Is there anything else that we can catch up here? Because I'm pretty sure there's more that spawns. I'm just trying to see if I can find a Litten. That's, that's literally all. I'm just looking for it. Oh, there's two areas here. Okay, we'll catch whatever we can get in here. And then, um... And then next episode, we'll catch in the next area. Please stay away, why not? I don't like you. I don't want to go for Swirlix. What is that? Oh, that's mean, mean Fu. Okay. We'll go for an exclamation point encounter. It's Krabby. <laughs> okay. I'll take a Krabby. I'll take a Krabby. I mean, we're still being surprised. That's the only reason I did this. 
it's just so weird to do with games where encounters show up in the overworld. It's hard to decide what you're going to do with them, but uh, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to do whatever we can for each route. Some I'll close my eyes for, some I'll just see, see if I can find something that I want and then run for it. I mean, people do it different ways. They choose whichever encounter they find is best and catchable. And some people just run in with their eyes closed, and we're just doing a mixture with both for our series, I guess. Um, but hopefully you guys don't have an issue with it, because, like, there isn't really a best way to do this, and it's kind of been hard for me to figure out how exactly I'm going to go forward with it, so... I mean, the aspect is that it's not Pokemon to catch that we should be worried about, it's how we can defeat this Nuzlocke with the Hardcore Challenge mode, because we've already had some issues with not being able to use potions in battle, especially with that battle with Hop earlier, so... Um... But, you know, after all... Oh, this thing has Moody, I forgot about that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and catch it then. Hopefully it stays in the ball. Game Boy Luke. There we go. We got ourselves a Krabby to end off the episode. Not too shabby, Krabby. Funny, funny joke. Yeah, Charlene's already level 14. Charlene is already level 14. We got to be careful with that. Uh, but Krabby, since it is a female and our friend Derek's uh, mascot is Kingler, we're going to be naming this after his wife, whose name is Whitney. So we're going to name this Whitney. Shout out to Derek and Whitney. Alrighty. And uh, with that, hi Ludicolo. Oh geez, Mianfu is after my money. Please stay away from me. I'm done with you. Anywho, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again for an episode of this. Uh, hopefully we can get into more exciting battles as go as we're going forward because the gym is coming up very, very soon. Uh, we'll see more uh, trainers to encounter and fight as we go along. So uh, we're going to get some more encounters here in the wild area that we can before moving on to the gym. So look forward to that. Uh, but again, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button if you haven't done so already and subscribe if you're new. Ring the notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of this series and other videos and streams on my channel answer the question down below this is inferno burning on i'll catch you guys in the next episode goodbye <laughs>